I shall start off by saying this is me, Claire Maimonet, and I am re doing an interview with Sally Phillips and Ollie for making the chromosomes yeah. count. What? Yeah, great. No, yeah. Phillips. Ollie Phillips? Are you going to be Ollie Phillips? Both. Ollie Phillips and Ollie Vermejo. Vermejo. How are things going for your family in lockdown now? Well, it's gone tough. Because, because it turns out my mum was a teacher, but but actually my mum is not a teacher. She's my mum, so basically it's going to be tough for us because I got so many work at home that my teach my teacher from school brings a lot of work at home, and I got to do. We hard work at home, providing my teacher to send into my hard work stuff home. Yeah, we got huge piles yeah. of work home, and um, Ollie doesn't like doing work at home. I mean, doesn't like doing homework at all because home is for home, isn't it? And school yeah. is for work, and so that was really that was quite tough to get you to do any of that. Yeah, we found it. We found it quite tough. I mean, sometimes it's really nice. It's nice to be at home, not have to, because living in London, a lot of the, you know, tube, going on tube takes a long time and it takes a long time to get anywhere and do anything. And it has been nice to hang out with the family more. But at the same time, everything just takes so long. And um, we found the lack of routine. My youngest one has some additional needs as well. And so... Uh, yeah, so so we have found lockdown pretty tough. Yeah. Oh, How about you? At first, I wasn't that bothered, but then one of my friends um, uh, said it is pretty serious, and uh, it kind of got to me too much. And then I'm I've been struggling up and down, and um, making sure I'm trying to do things during the day, and trying to turn the TV off because uh, I watch too much of it. Um, doing things around the house or um, going out and doing something. I, d I survive in on Zoom calls and FaceTimes. So, yeah. yeah. I just challenged my middle son to do something without a screen for one hour. Mm. And the amount of back chat about that, like <laughs> 20 minutes of, well, can I do an online drumming tutorial? No, because that involves a screen. <laughs> Can I, you know, there was, there was nothing, couldn't think of anything to do that didn't involve a screen. And it does make you realise, I mean, all the online schooling, we didn't have enough, and we're, you know, relatively well off family, we didn't have enough computers. And you haven't got access to a laptop. Um, lockdown's going to be really, really hard for you. Yeah, true. Um, I started off with the um, internet going down just before it started off and I needed it to get back up and then I found out it yeah. was my hamster that had nibbled through the wires. <laughs> so that, that was my comical moment to start off this corona thing. Well, did yeah. you have any comical moments? Oh. Yeah, we've had lots of comical moments. You know, pebble dashing. Pebble dash my bedroom with wet, <laughs> with wet kitchen towel. That was poor. <laughs> Uh, the dogs we've really got much closer to our dogs really noticed that the dogs really because the, the boys go to their dads occasionally and the dogs really really miss them and pine when they're not here experimenting with cookery lots of the boys are learning to cook that's good that's been what a good thing recently well the boys have been making pancakes and um lots of things with roll out pastry of different levels of edibility <laughs> they've learned to do sausages bacon and egg sandwiches they make their own breakfast they've learned to change their own sheets i mean it's all very basic stuff but some of the, you know, the youngest is eight um yeah designing their dream houses there's been a lot of um, designing strange buildings with prisons they they, they've decided that every house needs a prison to put the most annoying brother in and lock them up what? <laughs> that's funny tempers, 
yeah we've been working through they've seen everything on netflix now like the wider family is so important with um mm you know creating a welcoming environment and um, some grandparents can be very scared when their child has a child with disability and also yeah my uh, about all died as well yeah your grandpa died your dad your dad's daddy died yeah. last year that was very upsetting wasn't it yeah. and yeah ollie loves his grandparents very very much so that's a really important relationship yeah yeah, it's really hard for all of us. Mm, corona times are hard for all of us. Yeah, it is. Have you been working from home then? I have. I have. It's been really tough because I've had to try and work out how to make my own telly. So we've been shooting it, act, writing it, shooting in it, act, acting it and cutting it at home. So it's a, and then trying to use we transfer to send the finished products on to people. So there's a um, sketch show coming up. On not, BBC and called, also it's really okay. hard. And also it's really hard to to take my Chelsea ticket as well. Your Chelsea ticket? You haven't got any Chelsea tickets. Mm. You wish you had Chelsea tickets. <laughs> Ollie's been very upset that the Premiership's been cancelled, haven't you, Ollie? Oh, yeah, yeah but loves football, and we're all wondering what FIFA. 2021 is going to have on it. I mean, mm -hmm. Premiership cancelled. What's the new game going to be like? How are they going to work mm -hmm. out how everyone plays if they haven't seen them playing? Yeah. Who do you support, Claire? Oh, I'm not into football, me. No. Not really, no. Not my thing. So what projects have you been working on at the moment? Oh, yeah. So I, was, I did this sketch show for the BBC called Isolation Station. So that's a load of comics just filming sketches or bits of comedy at home on their own. Um, so I did that. And then I've- So do you support Chelsea? No, she doesn't support anyone, love, bad luck. I know, shame on her, shame <laughs> on her. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're just trying to get some ideas together for pitching different oh, comedy you, shows when we get- Oh, do you support Liverpool? She doesn't support Liverpool. She doesn't support anyone. Mm. 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 Ollie supports lots of teams. He supports Chelsea in the number one position, then yeah. Liverpool, then Man United. Is that right? Yeah. And then Everton. Is that right? No. <laughs> but hey, how's all your work going with Culture Device? Well, I'm do I'm doing a bit more now. I'm in isolation. I'm I'm doing this reporting, lads, as you can see, doing this. I've managed to interview um, um, Liam Barstow, uh, Alex from oh, yeah. Coronation Street. Oh, yeah. And he was lovely. Um, I've interviewed him. He is lovely. Very funny. He says every time he's on, on the telly, his mum bursts into tears or something like that. Oh. My son, I can't believe it. <laughs> he's like, Mum, goodness sake. Oh. Are you going to be an actor, Ollie? Yeah. <gasps> Ollie, I've do? got a question for you. What do you want to be when you grow up, Ollie? Well, actually, I'll be an actor and a, and a, and a, a charity player and, a, and that's it, a fireman. But I, 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 I might be on TV with mum because, because every f football game I play, I, I, I will be on TV. And also, I, I and also I give firemen to to put for fire out. I still put on TV. Yeah. A lot of the major football clubs have got da entirely Down syndrome teams, and really, I uh, didn't really, know that. Really good to go and interview them, Claire. That would be really cool. Chelsea have got a, yeah. Chelsea have got a Down syndrome team, and they train out in Epsom. Right. And I've said to Ollie he should play for the Down Syndrome team and he says no he wants to play for the actual team which I understand but you have to start at least in the Down Syndrome team I think. Ollie plays a lot of tennis at the National Tennis Centre and he um Andy Murray came down didn't he do you remember? Oh cool. Yeah. So they're, they're training up a good little squad for the Special Olympics if that Can happens I again. Do you want to be on telly like your mum? Yes, I do. 
but he really wants to be a fireman. But he was about to have work experience, which got cancelled when a farm, yeah, Boxall City Farm. They've always been really good at having people from Ollie's school. Um, and he was, you were upset about that. Yeah. He said, I don't want to work in a dirty farm. <laughs> and then it turned out he was going to be in the cafe serving cake. So that was fine, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, Tiny bit lazy when it comes to clearing up animal poo, mm. aren't you? He's not big at clearing mm. up animal poo. Mm. Not, it's not mm. his favourite thing. We've got two dogs and a hamster. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, you're not you're not the first. And the fox as well. Yeah, there's a fox that comes in the garden. You're not the first person to clear up the poo. Mm. Cool. So, what's your favourite thing to do at home then? Well, playing the Xbox. You yeah. don't play on the Xbox at home here, though, do you? That's at your dad's. What's your favourite thing to do when everyone comes around? What have we got a league of in the kitchen? Making brownies. You like making brownies, but there's something else you like doing. Who's winning between you and Ian? Me. Yeah, at playing what? Uno. Uno. So we've got a, ca a card game called Uno. I don't know if you've ever played it. But Ollie is a monster king of Uno. I don't know if I've ever played Uno before, though. <laughs> it's not very difficult, but it's quite fun. And there's another game you like playing called Pass the Pigs. Have you ever played played that? Oh, I've heard of I've heard of it, but I've never played it. <laughs> what do you like best, Ollie? Uno or Pass the Pigs? Both. Both. And you collect something, don't you? What do you collect? Match attacks. Match attacks. Collects football cards. All right. Yeah. That's nice one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bit of an expensive hobby. Hobby. It's just my mum's birthday in Monday. Sunday. On Sunday as well. It is. It's my birthday on Sunday. I'm going to be so old. Oh, come on. I'm going to be 50 on Sunday. Actually, 100. Oh, yeah, 50. 100, you mean? I think I'm going to be 100. <laughs> <laughs> That's not kind. That's not kind. I'm joking. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> not. Well, a happy birthday for them. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Not that funny. <laughs> yeah, how old are you, Ollie? 15. 30. No! <laughs> mom! 15, yeah. 15, 16 in August, aren't you? Yep. And your mum is 100 <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, <coughs> what can you do? So what are you looking forward to doing in the future? Ollie, what are you looking forward to doing in the future? Uh, going back to school? Yep, going go, go, go back to school. Ollie's really looking forward because he's got his last day at school. So he's really looking forward to having his white shirt signed by everybody. Last day at school. Mm. Yeah. And... I'm really looking for what am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward to lockdown being over. 